tennis elbow, as the name suggests, is caused by playing tennis, which happens due to overextension of wrist in the backhand stroke. However, playing tennis is not the only reason for tennis elbow. It happens because of the repeated motion of the hand in a certain way. In fact, I have seen it in the senior citizens. Suddenly they end up with tennis elbow and they don't play tennis at all. So maybe they had overused that area sometime or maybe in the past which has caused tennis elbow. During tennis elbow, the outer side of the elbow, the lateral area, you start feeling pain in this area. And it's very important that you go to the doctor, get it checked and start taking precautions immediately. Otherwise, if not controlled, it can be very painful to the extent that you won't be able to open uh, a bottle also. So in this segment, I'm going to show you some of the stretches which are really helpful. And if you do it, you know, for like four or five days, you can see immediate change into your pain and relief. And it can help in strength building this area. The first one is hand clenching. So slowly stretch your arms so that you can feel your arms completely tall, make it as tall as possible in front. Keep your spine tall and now the thumbs fold in and make a fist by keeping your thumbs in. Make it a tight fist. Just making a tight fist itself will start strengthening this area. So we'll hold this for 10 seconds. Release. Again, 10 seconds. Release. This you will start with 5 rounds and then you will go on adding for that one. So that was your first thing to do. In the hand clenching, the second one again, arms are stretched, thumbs goes in, four fingers are folded and what you will do, arms are tall completely, slowly get your the knuckles to come to the wrist. See, this one. Push your wrist out, hold for 5 to 10 seconds and stretch out, up. So now you can see the wrist uh, facing out. Again, the knuckle going to the wrist and wrist getting stretched out. In and out. So you will hold it for 5 seconds and you will perform it maybe for 5 rounds and gradually start increasing the time. So that was our second movement. Coming to the third movement in hand clenching, arms goes straight thumbs in and fingers are folded tightly. Now you are just trying to bring the upper part of your palms facing each other. So slowly roll this way, this way and then in the opposite direction, this way. Hold for 5 seconds, again roll, hold for 5 seconds, roll, hold for 5 seconds. So you will start with 5 rounds and then you can continue for 10 rounds. You can gradually build up on that one. And the last in the hand clenching, your arms are straight completely. Again your thumbs are in, fingers folded. The fingers are facing the ceiling. Maintain the length of the arms and with exhalation, very slowly bring the fist to the shoulders. See, Hold for 5 seconds, slowly extend out. One. Slow, two, slow, three. So these movements uh, we saw just for the hand clenching. You can start all of these with five rounds and can go up to ten rounds. This is one set. The second one, if you have and you will have a bottle, you can just choose the size of bottle. So like, you know, I have one small bottle and a bigger bottle. So this one is a small, if suppose it is paining a lot, you will take something which is light. So this bottle has a good grip. It's very important. See, I'm holding it tight. First, just hold it tight. Holding it tight itself will do a lot of strength building in this area. Once you're done with few rounds of that, you will stretch your arm out straight. And then what you're trying to do, you're trying to pour the water down. So very slowly pour the water down this movement. And again, up. Pour the water down and up. Down. See, this movement, good strength building. 
up. So the first thing we did, the, the bottle was like gripping it and holding it. The second thing was like pouring the water down. Now if you think you are comfortable and you are able to do strength building with a small bottle, you can move to a bigger bottle. So like I've got a bigger bottle. See, so this is like you're graduating into strength building. So again, try and grip. The grip is not too good over here. See if you can get a bottle in which you have a good grip. Hold it. Like just, like, just like you know, tighten the grip and release. Tighten the grip and release. Tighten the grip and release. You will do that for a few rounds, and then you will get your arms straight. And then again, you're trying to pour the water very slowly down as much as possible. Slowly. Up, down, and up, down, and up. So you can choose, you know, the size of bottle, and you can gradually go on building that area, and you will see all these areas are really becoming very strong. So that was the second set of exercises for you. The third one is like we can say it is like a stop sign. So you know, like this is again the wrist movement. So you stretch your arms out, stop. So this is a stop sign, and what are you doing in the stop sign? You are pushing the heels of the palms out. Hold it as much as possible. Your fingers are up and towards you. A stretch. You will hold for ten seconds and release. Again, the same thing. Stretch out. Fingers are facing you. Heels of the palms are going out. Hold for ten seconds. Release. That was the first round. Of uh, stop sign. The second one in this one is like you know sideways. So you will start with the stop sign, side please this way. You will hold. Fingers are coming close to your body. The heels of the palms are getting getting out, getting stretched out, and you will release again. Stop, sides please. You will start with five rounds and gradually you will increase the ten rounds. Not try and hold it for five seconds. That will really help you. The third one. So in this one, we started with this top. The second was side place, and the third one down this way. And the heels of the uh, the the wrist is going up, and the fingers are coming in. Hold it for five count and release again. Stop. Side down, and if you really stretch, it may not be very easy to hold even for two three seconds. It's literally working in this whole area. So you will start maybe with two three rounds, with two three seconds, and then go on increasing. So like we are just you know changing around with the movement to stimulate this whole area from different angle, so that we can increase the blood flow and strengthen it. So one, this is what we did. Side was the second one. down was the third one now bye bye this way this way this way so we'll start with five rounds very slowly and move to 10 rounds so this was the whole segment for the stop sign now the third one and which is very effective we are going to use a towel you are as if you are just uh, twisting the towel and squeezing the water out of that in fact you can actually use uh, you know like suppose if your towel is wet you can actually literally do in that way and you can see the strength which is being used so i have like one towel now this was like uh, this would not have uh, served the purpose so i got one more so that the squeezing becomes easy now these two towels i'm rolling it in see rolling it in tight rolling after rolling it in see i'm holding it like this i'm just twisting and squeezing the towel so what am i doing see look at my left hand right hand is going out like how we squeeze left hand is coming in and in this movement hold for 5 seconds release and go back now with the right hand so again this time left hand is going out and with the right i'm just kind of twisting it so the right arm hold for 10 seconds and come back with the left hand this is the movement hold release for the right one hold release so this again you will start with five rounds and you can go up to 10 rounds to begin with and the hand which is affected increase 
the rounds in that one compared to the hands which is not. So that was one movement. The second movement, we will start from the same base. So we are starting with the left hand going out. While going out this time, bend your elbow. See this movement, this one. Again out, this way. Now right arm twisting in this movement. Keep squeezing out this movement and you are bending your elbow, the left elbow coming close to your chest, going out and maintain this squeeze. Feel the strength in the arm, going out and then again the right arm, elbow is coming in and this way. So keep rotating as much as you can. So this was the second variation with the towel. In the third variation, I am just going back and doing the same thing so that a lot of opening can be done from a different angle completely. So at the back, see, right arm is up, left arm is down. Now I am just trying to, uh, you know, like the twist and squeeze the towel over here also, see, this movement. I am just trying to hold it, roll it from the bottom and then kind of squeeze it. Once it has been squeezed, push your left elbow at the back and remember to keep your spine in neutral position. So tuck your navel in this position and pull your arms apart. So my right elbow is going up and left elbow is going out, this movement. Hold for 5 seconds, release, go with the second squeeze, see. You will just repeat with the other hand. So now my left arm is going up and the right is down. First holding is important, see how you are holding it. See this, the rolling, this rolling over here, rolling. And once you think you've got a good grip, roll from the top also, this way and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as possible. You will actually feel your deltoid, arms and the elbow, this way. You will hold for five seconds, release, Again, squeeze, hold for 5 seconds and release. So, those were 3 movements with the towel. So, basically, to wrap up, we went with the hand clenching movement. Uh, then, second was the bottle movement. The third was the stop sign. And the fourth was the towel one. If you do it regularly, twice a day, uh, you know, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, you will see great result in no time. Naturopathic tip. Keep applying ice pack regularly every 2 to 3 hours for 15 to 20 minutes. You can also go with alternate hot and cold therapy. In that what you will have to do, you will have to just uh, you know like use the hot water bag for 3 minutes then the cold water for 1 minute, again hot for 3 minutes, cold for 1 minute, hot for 3 minutes, cold for 1 minute. All you know like all these 3, 3, 3 at 1 go and you can repeat it twice a day not more than that. So just go ahead with the practice and in less than a week you can see an amazing improvement in your hand pain and it will be able to do a lot of movement. So next time when you feel that, practice this movement and let us know how does it feel to you. Namaste.